So over the last five years, I've held a bunch of different tech sales roles. At any given time, making anywhere between a hundred and $150,000 per year. And honestly, for a long while, I thought that was it. I thought I made it. I thought that I would stay in tech for my entire career, no doubt about it. I really loved it. I loved traveling to different parts of the world to wine and dine customers on the company's expense, to go and rent boxes at NHL games or NBA games, to do that work hard, play hard mentality, and all the free snacks and coffee in the office. It was honestly amazing. I totally loved it. You could say I was a total tech bro, and I'll admit, that that all definitely sounds great, but it wasn't until I learned these three things that I figured out that maybe at this time in my life, it wasn't so great for me. And it ultimately led me to quit. Lesson number one, you are not your job. How many times do you meet someone new for the first time and almost instantly they ask you, so what do you do? And pretty much immediately after that question is asked, the whole conversation becomes about work. It happens all the time. Sometimes our identities are pretty much what we do for work, but that's not who we are. We're all unique. We all have interests, passions, hobbies, but it always comes back to what do we do and that's kind of what the whole conversation covers. At least for me, I realized that my job and what I did really started to merge with my identity and not in a good way. I realized that if my job was starting to overpower all of my passions, my dreams, my hobbies, my personality, things I like to do, go into the gym, probably wasn't a good thing. Lesson number two is boundaries. Boundaries in anything is important, but especially with your job. Boundaries are what gives you and me the space to do the things we need to do outside of work in our everyday life. And boundaries also allow people to protect our time outside of our scheduled nine to five working hours for us time, for us to do things that benefit us, not just work. Boundaries are important. Personal time is important. But let's face it, nowadays, especially with how the economy is going, companies do sometimes try to push those boundaries a little bit. For me, this realization of how important boundaries were came one night I was lying in bed, it was like 10 p.m. and my phone was pinging off the hook every five minutes. My VP of sales at the time was emailing me about a bunch of different deals that were active in my pipeline. And in every message he would put, you know, at the end of the message, don't feel obligated to respond. Yeah, right. Your boss's boss's boss is gonna be sending you emails at all hours of the night and you're not gonna feel obligated to respond. Let's get real. What ended up happening was I got into this habit of standing at my kitchen island in my boxers at like 10.30 or 11 p.m. rifling through my pipeline trying to address all the things he was asking questions about in his emails. And that wasn't cool. It was giving me anxiety because nights where I didn't get a ping or a message on my phone, I was sitting there waiting for one to come in. It was stressful. That made me realize that that particular situation was a problem of boundaries and that boundaries are really important for people. And so many people face this, not just me. So many people are expected to work evenings, to leave their weekends free from time to time if the business gets busy. And even in some cases, I've heard of people being pressured to cancel vacations last minute because work is busy. That's not healthy. And once I realized that I was in this pattern of boundaries constantly being pushed, I just couldn't ignore it anymore every time I noticed it kept happening. Lesson number three is that passions outside of work matter. And this one is kind of what ultimately put the nail in the coffin for me. So I had been working at a bunch of startups. And like all companies, startups are trying to do better. They wanna make more sales and make more money. They need to grow. So as part of a new initiative, I was asked if I'd be okay extending how late I was working during the weeks instead of ending at around five or six, seven or eight, and the occasional weekend with no pay, no raise, no compensation. Just a nice pat on the back. And normally for most of my career, I would say yes to something like this for a short period of time to just help the business out. But this time I reflected on this ask and I realized that, you know, 
I was already pretty exhausted after a full day's work anyways. I would come home and I'd be exhausted. I'd barely have time to go to the gym. I'd barely have time to prepare a good healthy meal. And I'd barely have time to talk to my friends or family or the girl I was seeing. Not to mention, I had no time to do things like read or play guitar, which I really love doing. It feeds my soul and recharges the batteries for the next day at work. And that's important. Those types of outside of work activities are what refuels your batteries, feeds your soul, and gets you recharged and ready to go back to work and give 100%. And I realized that it probably wasn't healthy. And if things started going into the direction where it was always a matter of you having to sacrifice those type of important personal things that do feed your soul, you need to reassess. And I did. I made the decision to quit. And I did, and I started doing YouTube and freelancing full time. And almost immediately, like magically, my personal life got better. Not necessarily easier, the work is actually probably a lot harder to do to make money, but my life got better. I lost like 20 pounds, my mental health started improving, my relationship started improving, I started to do things around the house that I've been putting off for months and months and months, I've been going back to the gym, I started cooking. It was amazing. It was honestly amazing and I couldn't believe that these were things that I had been putting off for so long because I was prioritizing a really busy work life. But yeah, that's my story. I'm now working for myself and while it's really hard working for yourself at times, you always are kind of on your toes trying to figure out ways to make money, it's great because it's given me the perspective of what is actually also important in life outside of a job. So that's my story. Will I ever get back into a, a tech sales job or sales in general for a company? I don't know, maybe, probably, one day, who knows? But right now, this was the move for me. So that's my story. I hope it gives you some perspective because I do know that a lot of people are probably in a similar situation. So for me, having a side hustle, learning new skills, and doing stuff like that outside of work during my spare time allowed me to actually make the decision to quit and kind of reset and reassess my life. But let me know what you think. Feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to reply to all of them. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Cheers.